Is it just me or is Mortal Kombat 1 completely falling off? The only times that I ever see anybody talking about this game anymore is when it's in relation to another YouTuber or Twitch streamer. Which I also find crazy cause look, Mortal Kombat 1 got less than a thousand viewers on Twitch. And the only reason it ever even hits a thousand is when a well known a renowned Mortal Kombat player was streaming at the time. But if they weren't, that's still less than a thousand viewers. Also, only 10% of the game's initial player base still plays the damn game. And I screenshotted this on a good day. Now I have no doubt that when the Peacemaker, the Homelander, and the Takeda DLC drops, thousands of players will come back. But you have to wonder, if your game relies on its DLC to prosper, is it really a good game? No! Now I've been telling y'all for months that I have a couple problems with this game. I've been telling y'all for even longer what those problems were. With the major one being that the game is still completely imbalanced. I haven't played this game in months, <laughs> but even to this day, I've seen people pull out absolute bullshit to win a fight. Shit that shouldn't be possible in this game. And not in some amazing Baldur's Gate 3 kind of way, but in an oh my god this shit is fucking aggravating kind of way. I noticed that one of the only times that this game really be popping off within the last couple of months is when people like Mike Trelinsky uploads a video. Though they are quite far in between, or even some Sometimes when that bitch ass nigga six arakin pulls up to try get a little kid who mopped the floor with his yams in an online match to call him daddy I'm not playing he's actually done this I hope to god I can find the clip just to get a rematch or even to start the match with a character of their preference because he bans everybody scream daddy at the top of your lungs five four three daddy! louder than that louder than that no, I will win, I promise you, I'll win. Please, daddy, 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 please, 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 one more daddy. Daddy, Daddy, Look, if y'all want me to go in on Six Eric and just say the word, cause I used to follow this man's actions so closely, just in case he ever stepped extremely out of line. Then this dickhead gonna pull up to one of my TikToks and try to talk down on me, like I wouldn't have blown his back out a couple times with Omni Man just a couple months ago. That's if his internet could even hold up well enough to reach Australia. Now I understand, I get that beef makes the world go around, hence why toxic Mortal Kombat player videos do so well. Hence why a lot of people enjoy seeing people rage during a game but how were people meant to rage during your game when nobody's playing your game i used to love this game through all its faults and all but now a nigga can't stand it i would run into the same seven or eight players on repeat every time i would load up a versus match waz being one of the few there was such a severe lack of content in mortal kombat 1 and even if there was something in the game that you really wanted chances are that it was locked behind some sort of paywall so what i'm trying to say is that everybody owes mortal kombat Combat 11 an apology and I hate using this word but MK11 is the superior game there were no cameos in the online modes it was all just based on skill back then. There were insane amounts of customization details back then in comparison to MK1 so much to the point that I never unlocked them all. I cannot say the same for MK1. Took me two to three weeks at best and I had unlocked every single bit of customization for every character unless it was locked behind each character's fucking battle pass. MK1 is just a goddamn sellout. There are no alternative skins for Omni-Man. And I knew this was gonna happen. I called it back in another video long before Omni-Man even dropped. So I started doubting that they were even gonna give any of their DLC characters any skins. And I was right. He has one! And then just a couple color palettes. I'm glad this game failed in the end, I really am. And if you still play it, good on you bro, but I'm only coming back when the DLC drops. And I'm not talking about no dumbass Quan Chi. Then I'ma be back out that bitch. I've been trying to get my homie Carmzy to break his addiction to the game. Bro, if you can hear me, there are other less torturous pleasures in life. Only game that'll have my complete attention in a few weeks is Suicide Squad. I've been hearing both some good and bad things about it, so that'll be exciting to dig into. Honestly, the fall off of NetherRealm Studios needs to be studied. MK1 was destined to be great, only to be doomed to fail. You got no game awards, you got no game modes, and now you barely got any players. Sounds like you deserve those L's to me. Drop a like and a subscription before you take your leave. I am officially starting up my Patreon this month, so keep a lookout for that, and I'll be keeping you posted. Let me know what kind of videos y'all would like to see on it, and I'll be seeing you. Take care in peace. Baby, let me see something. Okay, too bad. Bitches, go away. Both ways. She gon' do it for these bands. She make it clap like how I do both of my hands. Fuck it up. Stick it up.